I would like you to speak just for a moment to the notion that academic institutions and the libraries and collections that they house are an incredible source of power for those who have access to them and those who create and organize them. In a perfect world, each document would be equal to every other document. We wouldn't make judgments about them. Just as we are trained not to judge patrons in what patrons' questions are. In other words, one patron's quest for something in the archives is equal to another patron's quest, whether this is for family history on one hand or PhD dissertation on the other. But we don't live in an ideal world. We live in a world with limited resources. And so as we collect things, not knowing what future researchers are going to need or be interested in, we have to make some judgment about what we collect. We also have to make some judgment about the depth of processing, how far we process materials to make them accessible. So these students have brought out texts that um, we wouldn't have had probably 10 years ago. That maid's diary from Seattle, uh, we probably would not have purchased that 10 years ago. We have in the last five years increasingly gone outside of our usual collecting policies to try to get materials that support the curriculum and to give students examples of people who are not among the elite. I uh, participated in an atelier at Duke University last year around um, the archive. And um, the notion of intellectual activism mm -hmm. emerged. Hmm. What's that? Well, I think it has to do with engaging in the conversation about what a text is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what a viable source is, mm -hmm. and um, keeping the conversation about what is worth preserving and what is not worth preserving mm -hmm. um, at the forefront. Right. Like the canon, what, what is the canon of literature going to be? What is the canon of literature going to be, and mm -hmm. how does it affect what we collect? Right, right. Again, it's scary to make those judgments <laughs> because what we think is important now, well, what's more likely to happen is what we don't think is important now is going to be important later. It's, it's a scary proposition and we need, we need to be very humble in making those kinds of decisions. <laughs>